Hey, what's up guys? Kevin here. In this video, I want to share with you my top five picks for beginner snowboards. There's definitely some things to look out for when buying your first snowboard. And I'm going to take you guys through five boards across five different brands that I think meet all the criteria of a great beginner snowboard. My number five snowboard is the Burton Ripcord. And the standout to me about this board is that it comes in at a low price. For your first board, you definitely don't wanna spend a lot of money because you're not gonna use a lot of the tech that comes in more expensive boards. So definitely pick up a snowboard at a low price. And then after a year or two, once you've passed through beginner and intermediate, you can then choose a more expensive board that's more suited to the type of snowboarding that you really wanna do. The Burton Ripcord also has other features that look in a good beginner board like soft flex and rocker towards the tips. The women's equivalent to this board is the Burton Stylus. The number four snowboard on my list is the Solomon Sight. I think the Solomon Sight is a great beginner board because it also comes in at a low price, but the standout is the soft flex. As a new snowboarder, a soft flex is important because you want to be able to flex and twist the board as you need to. Being able to flex and twist the snowboard will help you to do your first turns and it will also help you in the introduction to snowboard tricks. So for those reasons, I think the Solomon Sight is a great beginner snowboard. The women's equivalent is the Solomon Oh Yeah. The number three beginner snowboard on my list is the Capita Horoscope. I actually got to ride the Capita Horoscope a few years back and the standout to me was the consistent feel. So that's really important for going for your first turns or first beginner tricks that the snowboard has a consistent and predictable feel to it. It also has all the other beginner characteristics coming in at a low price and also a soft flex. The women's equivalent is the Capita Space Metal Fantasy. The number two beginner snowboard on my list is the Arbor Draft. The Arbor Draft has a lot of the other beginner snowboard characteristics. The one that stands out to me is the full rocker profile. Rocker is basically the base of the snowboard rises away from the snow as you get towards the nose and tail. Rocker is great for new snowboarders because when you go to make your first turns, it's going to make the board feel catch free. It's going to help you to turn a little bit faster and it's just going to overall make the board feel more playful. So I think this is one of the most important features for a beginner snowboard and that's why the Arbor Draft is my number two pick. All right guys, so my number one beginner snowboard pick is the GNU Money. So the GNU Money has all the other beginner snowboard features, but the standout is the magnet traction. What magnet traction means is that the edge of your snowboard is wavy, kind of like the serrated edge of a bread knife. And what magnet traction does is if you're riding across any icy or firm snow, it's really gonna help you to grip and avoid slipping out. So if you're a new snowboarder on the East Coast or someplace that's notorious for ice, I highly recommend a beginner board that has magnet traction. It's just gonna give you that extra grip and stability for your first turns. And the women's equivalent is the GNU Gloss. All right guys, so those are my top five beginner snowboards. If you have any questions, leave them for me down in the comments. It'd also be great to hear from you to know what beginner snowboard you're leaning towards. And if you wanna check out these boards, I'll put links to all of them down in the description. Thank you guys for watching. Have fun out there putting together your beginner snowboard gear list, and I'll see you in the next video soon.